Welcome to episode 11 of Take the Trip with us, where you get to hear from travel professionals who have experienced destinations firsthand. And today I have Crystal Boston right there at Walt Disney World, which is awesome. And we're going to get to hear from her today. She's actually been in the travel business for over six years, but you've been doing Disney for over 20 years, which is really cool. And now you live like what, 18 miles from the magic. Yep. Yes. And I know you visit frequently and you stay up to date on everything. And actually you're my, like the run Disney person. And look what I wore for you today. I wore my <laughs> run Disney Olaf because I had to scrape ice off my car today. Oh no. To get here, right. And you're there in nice, warm Florida. <laughs> so yes. that's, that's awesome. So where are you right now? Where are you staying? Um, and, and what are we looking at? Um, I'm at Disney's Boardwalk Resort, and this is a boardwalk view of um, from our room. Very cool. And I'm hearing lots of sound in the background, too. <laughs> yes, the boats are running again. Ah, okay. Got it. Well, I know you've been there, you know, a few times since the craziness of the past few months and COVID and all that. How comfortable do you really feel, Crystal? What do you feel being there, you know, this weekend? It's been over Thanksgiving. So, you know, crowds and all that. Yes. Um, I'm very comfortable being back. Um, I feel more comfortable here than I really do even just going to the grocery store. Um, you know, they're, they're enforcing the policies of face coverings and physical distancing. And we've been coming on Thanksgiving for probably 20 years. And wow. we, you know, we would always arrive Thanksgiving day and stay. Um, it, this is the lightest we've seen crowds during this holiday. Wow. Boy, I hear those boat horns. I see two in the background. That's really cool. Wow. What a great view. So you, you're feeling like, you know, that they're enforcing the face covering rules. You're feeling distance. I mean, obviously when you get on a boat, there's, you know, not anybody sitting like right there next to you. How do they manage that? Um, they just like on the buses, they have signs and of sectioning off the, the rows and um, then the plexiglass that divides, um, and they only let it, your group is the only one that can sit in a row. Okay. So okay. they are keeping you distance even on all the transportation. Okay, that's awesome. Cool. So you're feeling like you're able to physically distance whether you're in line, whether you're on transportation, and rides. I know they're like cleaning the rides between. How um, does I think at like every two hours, they, okay. I, I, you know, that might not be the exact timing, but or something like that. They stop the rides and, um, and they'll, they'll sanitize everything, you know, and I mean, it takes maybe 30 minutes for most of the rides for them to do that. Okay. And, and then they resume again. Okay. And I know there's a lot of hand sanitizer out, so you probably feel comfortable. Okay. So then what yeah. happens as far as you know, getting food, drink, how easy is that? Because I know there's only certain places you can take off your mask or your face covering. So how does that work? Yes. Um, well, what I really like since being back is that they've kind of pushed everyone to do the mobile order from your uh, My Disney Experience app. Okay. So you can place your order at any time or make your selections at any time, like before leaving your resort hotel room. And then the, you there's no long lines to get in to order your food. Once you arrive, you just click the little button that says I'm here, prepare my order. You get a notification, you go in, pick it up. And once you, you're seated, then you can take your face covering off and eat. And they have indoor seating if you want that. Okay. But they've also added a lot of outdoor seating tables that are distanced. And when they couldn't, when they haven't moved them, spaced them out, they'll put signs on ones that say, you know, please leave this table open. Okay. So, and then what about a sit down restaurant, a table service restaurant where you might have a waiter or waitress? Have you done any of those while you're there this week? Yes. Yes. Okay. We have, um, they still are spacing the tables there. It's still limited capacity. They have increased capacity some in the in uh, table service dining experiences. Um, this week we kind of noticed they, you know, they're seating more people, but you still, it's still a lot more spacing than it was before. Sure. Sure. And if I remember right, a lot of the cast members 
will wear the face shields also along with their okay. face covering, right? Okay. And I yes, guess if they are anyone that's, um, I, I forget what they, the term they call it, but it, um, working directly with guests like that and in a table service area, they will wear the, the face shield with their face covering. Okay. And that protects them and us. So that's super. Yeah. Very, very cool. So what about just like, around the resort. I mean, I know you have to have your face covering on when you leave your room, but what if you go to the pool? I'm assuming you've been to the pool because I know yes. you like. Yes. 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 Um, at the pool, if you're walking around, like, you know, to go from your lounge chair to the, um, to get a beverage or food, you have to put your face covering on. But if you're going from your lounge chair to get in the pool, no, you can okay. take it off. And if you're sitting at your lounge chair, you can remove it. Um, the other thing they're doing at the pools is they're spacing this, the chairs and loungers. And then they have signs that when you leave for the, you know, leave the pool for the day, you either tip your chair or lounger forward so that other guests plus the cast members that are sanitizing know that that needs to be cleaned and it was used. Okay, very cool. Well, it sounds like they're doing a super job there and I know you've had a great week and that's awesome. So before we go, any special memories, anything that happened really awesome this weekend with being there? Something fun? Um, well, I, I mean, I don't know that there was anything awesome, you know, special and, and above and beyond this weekend. It, it's just to us, it's exciting to be back. Sure. You know, and to be able, while it's different, it, it's still our Disney, you know, and, and, and each time we come, there's a little something that they brought back. And there's been some surprise fireworks even. So, oh. and, you know, they're, they're not announcing them because they don't want the, the crowds together. So it's just a random little magic that happens. Wow. Oh, that's really cool. And then seeing some of the characters and stuff, I guess you're seeing some of the little cavalcades pop up. Now, have you seen Santa Claus though? Yes. And really? that's, with the cavalcades, they've switched those over to holiday. Okay. And so then they'll, Santa will be on, and in some of them, he'll be on um, a car or a float per se, and in the, in the character cavalcade. So he's one of our characters now. <laughs> Aww, that's awesome. Cause it's, it's Christmas time. And I know the holidays there are just so beautiful. I'm so yeah. glad you got to go. And thank you for sharing that with us. I really appreciate you talking to us today and all of our listeners. So remember tune back in with us as we continue to bring you information about these destinations, especially when we've got people on site, which is really great. Um, Cause we want you and your family to be able to learn about these places and hear our stories and things that we have found useful and our tips and tricks. So until next time and until the next adventure, take care. Bye. Bye.